Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell. Let me be perfectly blunt. You are not my first choice. You were here at the request of Admiral Kazansky, AKA Iceman. He seems to think that you have something left to offer the Navy. What that is, I can't imagine. We talk a lot or email a lot uh, because I think we're, you know, we just can't believe how well the movie's been received. You know, it's 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 what we were striving for. It's what we worked for. It's what you dream about when you're, you know, working on a film that it'll it'll touch this many people. Um, but I don't think any of us could have expected this. At that point, I'm like, this movie's way too big to to not give a give it a shot. And then audition met Joe. Then. Tom has made so many films with so many talented actors and writers and directors, and we're the fortunate ones who've taken that knowledge that he's learned through those years, and he's imparted it in Top Gun, and that's why it's the big success that it, it's become. It's all his efforts to make this as good as it can be. He always said, we have to hit a bullet with a bullet on this movie, and we worked very hard to do that. With all due respect, sir, I'm not a teacher. just want to manage the expectations. Captain speaking. And we're off. It's so gratifying to have people kind of come up to me as they do, you know, almost every day and, and just talk about um, falling in love with going to the movies again and how, you know, Top Gun was a part of that uh, for them. Um, you know, I remember seeing the first Top Gun as an 11 year old kid and, and what that felt like for me then to see it in a in a theater on a big screen with a bunch of my friends. Uh, so to be able to bring that experience back for uh, people that hadn't been able to go to the movies for a few years is it's really gratifying and thrilling. And we're all everyone who worked on the film is is just so grateful uh, that um, people have responded to it. I really wanted to give you all an experience of what it is to be to be inside that aircraft. And for me, Top Gun is about, com is about competition. It is about family, it is about sacrifice, is it about heroism, you know, and it's about aviation. And I love aviation, it's a love letter to aviation. So would you all like to see it? Listen, that, that pain is starting to fade into you know, the distance now, but certainly at the time, yeah, it was, it was hard, uh, those two years, you know, uh, for a variety of reasons, not just because Top Gun wasn't coming out, coming out, but you know, it was just a hard time for everybody, uh, dealing with the pandemic. So, um, we knew we were doing the right thing by holding on to it because we knew the movie had to be seen on the big screen. So thank God, you know, we waited and, uh, people, um, went out and supported the film, uh, and and just gave it the ride it's had. You know, it's been it's been amazing to watch. Here we go. In three, two, one. Well, my thoughts are the Academy will decide if, if it's worthy of an Oscar. I think it's 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 a great film. Audiences think it's a great film. We make it for, for theaters, we make it for audiences, we make it for all the people behind the scenes who are thrilled to be a part of Top Gun. And we hope the Academy and the, the voting body will, will see it the same way. Look, everybody would like to be acknowledged by the industry for their hard work, and everybody who worked on the movie is no different. We're going into combat on a level no living pilot's ever seen. Not even him. You think up there you're dead. Believe me. My dad believed in you. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. Yeah, we went through the movie again, all the way through every shot, and we really optimized it for the home video experience. So there's an, you know, a, a ultra HD, uh, high dynamic range version, which is a very, very bright 
picture with very deep blacks. So it's um, the that version of the film is, you know, from a kind of visual fidelity point of view is about the best you're going to get. Um, but we tailored every shot. We touched up every pixel uh, and made it look just perfect for the home video release. Someone's not coming back from this. Those are your pilots. Anything happens to them. You will never forgive yourself. I have no idea. I, I, hopefully I, the audience would like another one and, and other people would like it, but it comes down to, if we can we come up with the right story? Does Tom actually want to do another one? It's very hard when you make two movies that have captured the emotions of the world and to do it and try to do a third one is, is even, even harder than to do a second one. Oh, jeez! Having any fun yet? Yeah.